What's good y'all, your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out 10 iconic wrestling dance moves. This should be a fun one. Uh, someone uh, sent this to me on Twitter. Actually, you know what? Let me give you a shout out cause you actually sent it to me on Twitter. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to give you a shout out. Brian Peoples on uh, Twitter. I am Brian Peeps. Uh, he has sent this to me, said, uh, I think you would like this. So we're gonna check this out you know sometimes wrestlers they have a good time in the ring they start moving and grooving can it be cringe yes especially if you're supposed to be beating up your opponent but there's nothing wrong with a little bit of lightheartedness uh depending on the match now obviously if you're in a hell in a cell you, you may want to be a little bit serious or you're trying to you know win championship gold but if it's just a, a jobber at best <laughs> you know you can hit a couple of dance moves so we're gonna check this out should be a good one appreciate all the love support Let's get right into it, man. One, two. Is this on? Wrestling is a buffet of entertainment, and sometimes we just need to have fun and bust the move. Countless yeah. wrestlers have incorporated dance routines into their characters, and today we're highlighting the best ones and much more as we list the top 10 dance moves <laughs> in wrestling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Money, money, yeah. <laughs> William Regal. Before we kick off the list, we'll give an honorable mention to a dance that has got over big in AEW, yep. courtesy of the hilarious Prince Nana. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's over. Oh, no. You know, Yeah. 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 <laughs> We also give a nod to the legendary junkyard dog and his dance, the Juke. You know what the Juke is? That's a dance, man. You got to get with time. The Juke. You get your legs down, man. You start moving. Hey, try to 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 Now on to the list. Number 10, Daniel Garcia. Oh, After joining man. the Jericho Appreciation Society, instead of being an intense technical wrestler with a towel and trunks, Daniel Garcia had to become more of a sports entertainer and debuted a pelvic dance that got over. Tremendous intense. Danny Garcia. And you'll do that dance. He's got dangerous hips, this guy here. Apparently so. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime I saw this, bro, I just I know it's it's not supposed to be taken seriously, so I get that. And it's funny when you do it every now and then, but I'm seeing him in serious situations, serious matches and feuds, and he's he's out here pelvis thrusting. The crowd loves it, so I get it. It's just I uh a lot of times I just like, oh my god, okay. Jericho with that right elbow to the Terran Hampshire. Oh, that's what he says. Oh, he's gonna dance. <laughs> <laughs> the dance was keen, helping off. See, it makes sense in certain situations, just, you know, not all the time in the ring. But once again, it was over for a little bit, you know. And I'm glad he's doing more of the serious stuff that he did uh, with this recent feud with MJF. So I, I can appreciate that. But, you know, <laughs> it's, it's different <laughs> when he's in the middle of a match having a heated, heated uh, brawl with someone. He starts pelvic thrusting them. Garcia showed a new side to his character. He was still a great professional wrestler, but under Jericho's guidance, it was all about becoming a sports entertainment star. Danny has come a long, <laughs> long way, man. He really has. Look at this. Thank you. Thank you, Shirati. Look at that. Oh, whoa. Look at that thrust, that dance. Daniel Garcia. Oh, God. Oh, that is, uh, That's wild, bro. That's kind of weird. Lee, though, standing up and now. What the hell is going on? From the stoicism, from the defiant Daniel Garcia. Oh, he really what? He went from Ripper Billy Watson. What are we doing, Danny? He might. Oh boy! We avoided it all late. All right, let's go. Oh! Having such a big switch in the tone of a character like this can be tricky. Bro, see, I pulled it off very. Bro, walking up the ramp is like, once again, it's like he was overdoing it. I think you you do it in moderation, make fans even appreciate it more. But <laughs> just come on, bro. Very well. Zack Saber Jr. had in New Japan. Uh oh. And it was a match that Zack Sabre Jr. won, and now... Swing and a miss by Jeff Hardy. Bit of a stalemate. Yep. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen, bro. What the... Bro, what is happening here? Yeah. Jeff Hardy doesn't care. Laying out Daddy Magic and... 
Hey. What is Matt Hardy doing in fucking? Oh my god! So much cringe from Tony Khan with no rhythm, but so much money. Ah. Number nine, Shane McMahon. Shane McMahon's famous shuffle first began as part of his quick beat punch combo, which some referred to as the Shane O'Mac shuffle. He continued to use this as part of his moveset for the rest of his career. See, it works with him doing the silliness because we know he's not a wrestler. He's the son of a billionaire, so he's having fun out there. He's not taking it seriously. That's why it works with him. It's different when you're a wrestler. I get it. You have your dance moves and it's cool. It's just moderation is very important. <laughs> That's the only thing. Even though, you know, Shane did it all the time. You got to look at it from a standpoint that Shane was never to be taken seriously. So, of course, he's going to be, you know, BSing around. Look at him punches. <laughs> Bo, look at oh. entertainment empire built by his daddy is having his way. I, I, I agree with you, Corey. Say, oh! After finally getting his own theme music in 2001, Shane stepped up his entrance and signature shuffle by turning it into more of a dance. I can't believe this! Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, my God. Yep. <laughs> oh my god it was bro. quite hard to replicate as others who tried yeah. it soon learned and Shane caught with a snap <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, he's like, <laughs> he's like, what the hell? <laughs> yep. Stop it. Number eight, Alex Wright. With nineties oh. violins by a techno entrance music, Alex Wright danced his way to the ring in style. <laughs> Come on, this isn't Chippendales. Hey, oh my God. Hey, what is? Would you look? And then once again, for some people, it, that's just their character, their gimmick. You know what I'm saying? So you don't take them as seriously as you would, you know, depending on, you know, how they come to the ring, how they present themselves. So, you know, you got to take that in consideration. Is that Alex Wright? Now there's Alex Wright again. <laughs> oh, get him out of there. And that really ticks the Nitro girls off. Oh, here comes security. Really Look at him. <laughs> It made him a heel since American audiences weren't used to this type of music or dancing. But this only made Wright's character more entertaining. You think dancing after an offensive assault is a mistake? Obviously the kid's not an expert yet. <laughs> See? Sits with Steve Mongo See? Alex Wright knew where he was at all times. He dropped down and the throat of Jericho across that top rope. Chris Jericho was robbed by Alex Wright. He never passed up on an opportunity to get his dance in. Alex turned WCW Monday Nitro into Saturday Wright Fever. <laughs> natural pairing. How come it took him so long? <laughs> he hitting that shit. Well, one of the girls here uh, you can't tell sometimes right at one point team with fellow dancing wrestler disco inferno but it was always das wonder kid that stole the show alex Wright and the disco inferno are gonna dance. the nitro boys <laughs> <laughs> there's a new dancer on the horizon Bro. here look at this <laughs> you know what i think tokyo magnum's the best of the three Number seven, <laughs> Teddy Long. One of the ways Teddy Long indeed. Him hey, man, Teddy's great, man. Holla, holla, holla. <laughs> Love it, man. Love some Teddy Long, man. He's awesome. It's after the fans was with his iconic dance. Whoa. Unbelievable. You've seen that silly little thing he does. What's all that about? <laughs> Damn, no music, but I'll give it to you. 
<laughs> what is that? Huh? What's it called? The Gramps? It's the Bop. The Gramps. <laughs> the Gramps. <laughs> The way I got the dance is I got that from my grandson. Every time we put him in the walker, he would just pop up and down just like that. Aww. One day I got ready to walk out and Vince stands up and he says, do that dance, do that dance. And he started doing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, bro. It was hard not to start moving after hearing his entrance song. But the way Teddy moved up and down was just brilliant. <laughs> It's the Teddy and I suit Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's no surprise at all, was the longest serving and most popular general manager in SmackDown history. Teddy and his unmistakable dance moves are the highlights of the show each week. Here along the SmackDown general manager. <laughs> look at Booker T. Look at JBL with that down move. <laughs> Jim Ross, what he was Oh my god, this is funny, man. This is funny. Bring it back some good memories, man. Oh Lord. Teddy, stop dancing, please. <laughs> Teddy! Teddy, stop dancing! Number six, La Parker. <laughs> La Parker was a great dancing wrestler with a number of different moves he liked to do. He didn't speak during his first few years in WCW, meaning he let his dancing do the talking. Strange man here. Here comes the chairman of World Championship Wrestling. And and there's the chairman right there. <laughs> La Parker was a versatile performer. On top of his dancing talents, he was a Jeez. skilled luchador. While armed with a weapon, he became known as the chairman of WCW. The Woo! has arrived. The chairman of WCW. Oh my God! Bro, those are the old school chairs you would see back you know, in school, right? I remember those, those hard plastic chairs. Oh, damn. Hold on. We got to see that again. Look at this. Oh, my God. Oh, yep. Infamous moment. Oh, my. Not dancing. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> La Parker was not heavily pushed, but still made every second of TV time count, thanks to great wrestling and hilarious dancing. It may be sold out, but I mean, if you're not gonna be heavily pushed, you might as well try to get the the crowd's attention. So when you do come out there, they get lively. So that's why I understood why uh, my boy Daniel uh, Garcia was doing the thrust movements because it was it was getting him over whenever he was presented on television. He's always got a chair for someone. You just, the realization maybe <laughs> just hit you that it's going to be a no disqualification match. kind of wonder, they caught him in midair. I kind of wonder if this is the same La, La Parka or a different man in a mask. Victory for Hooventude. Trey Boyd, cross body caught by La Parka in mid-ring. Picks up Hooventude and stretch. He even cut some <laughs> promos during the end of his run with WCW. Talk about a pure entertainer. Because when the chairman's in his house, he's got not one but two steel shots for you. It's ah, one yeah. Fall, one fall, one for me, and one for my homie. I'm going <laughs> to kick your jacked up ass. <laughs> the chairman's clocking in for work. We're briefly switching gears to take a look at wrestlers who weren't blessed with much rhythm but decided oh, to boy. get their own rhythm. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Pescados. I love it. What is going on here? Oh, my God. Shout out to Mark Henry. <laughs> 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 they are the moved by dagger. What is this? 
But that's often what makes it so fun. <laughs> Go Buck a Yeah, no. Yeah, the hottest spot north of a bed. Yeah, everybody at home. Yeah. Over. Get your monkey, monkey ass, I'm out of here. <laughs> no. Oh, bro. <laughs> Shh. He always creeped me out, bro. Anytime I ever saw this butter bean <laughs> looking motherfucker, bro, I just got creeped out, bro. Just get him off my screen. <laughs> All right, come on, big dick. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my. It didn't matter if millions are tuned in. Sometimes you just <laughs> gotta dance. What's happening, like no one's bro? <laughs> I remember this, bro. Oh, my. Of course, Vince on here. Number five, uh, New Day. Oh you yeah. Are pressed to find better dancers in modern wrestling than the New Day. They have a. And here's the thing about New Day. They were able to turn. Once they turned heel, they is crazy. Like their personas and their characters start to co really come through, and they started to get over. <laughs> Even though initially I believe they were heels, started off that faction as heels, and then they they really started to get over. It was the the annoyance of. You know, them all, you know, trying to have this fake positivity into it actually turned into that. So, it, and, you know, they had the dance moves, too. Some of it quite cringe. A couple of different moves they like to do, all of which involve swiveling and gyrating the hips. Look at Big e, yo! <laughs> Wait a minute. That Big E's going to be getting down all over Brooklyn tonight. Whoa! Tag Team Champion! <laughs> It's fun to watch you they drop it down on their own, but it's even better when other wrestlers join them for a dance. Fucking trip all right now. Bro, Big E is great. We miss you, Big E, man. Wish you could be a part of the show, bro. I mean, he is in the pre-show and stuff, but like actually in the ring, because one thing Big E going to do, he going to gyrate. <laughs> Do this. No. Day rocks. Right, he's got some moves. Oh, that's really awesome. <laughs> oh, oh, gosh. Cowboy. Hold up, cowboy. Hold up. Bro, this nigga, man. Shane ain't got no rhythm. Never unsee this. Uh, yeah. 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 The hips don't discriminate, as the trio once said. Good dancers or not, the power of positivity is all about having fun. Oh no, they be having fun, bro. <laughs> but it's just funny because they're so you got triple H's of the world and stuff like that. <laughs> they ain't got no rhythm. But they can wrestle their ass off, but ain't got no lick of red. Uh oh, hey, Jack. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then at house shows, it makes sense to do this because, you know, you're at a house show, you're having fun. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing Randy Orton do this is wild, bro. Number four, Jeff Hardy. Of course. Jeff Hardy's entrance. Yep, his entrance, man. Minor, Classic. To it up after returning to the WWE in 2006. And he's high stepping. Yeah. It's Jeff Hardy. Yep. <laughs> it worked. It fit his theme. He just started going. <laughs> 
I'm like, yeah, let's go, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, party, man. The charismatic enigma as he flared his arms and rocked back and forth. Fish sends Jeff Hardy into the ropes. Hardy comes back. Shoulder tackle. Jeff refers to the dance as the Duke, which was inspired <laughs> by Michael Hayes. If you've seen old footage of the Freebirds, like Michael uh, Hayes, he would always do it during the match, too. Exactly. That's where it came from. I yeah. just exaggerated what he was doing and kind of modified in that. That's Them when do rags is wild, bro. No one bro. Could do it quite yeah. as cool as Jeff. His yeah. swag and energy was unmatched. Anyone else attempting the dance just looks silly. And the yep. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff be hit that shit. And Jeff, I, I'd ask you for a comment, but all you've really said for the last few months is. <laughs> the key to doing right is to use one hand at a time instead of throwing up both together. A lot of time people get so excited, they're actually doing the juke. They go ahead and throw two hands up. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm doing it. I can't believe it. I love doing the juke. Yes. Juke, 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 juke. The great one. <laughs> 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 Number three, dance Oh man. We'll now look at wrestlers who didn't necessarily have a specific dance move per se, but were without question top class dancers who like to let loose. Yeah, here's the leader, the WWF right there. <laughs> loosen up, JR. Oh, I'm loose, alright. I'm loose, alright. <laughs> Yep, Dusty Rose, yeah. Somebody called my mom. Can you get that like that? No. Could you grab your yam bag off the figure scream like that? Oh, oh! Jerry the King Lawler has rejoined us on commentary. Fondango. Just watch. Michael, be quiet. What? Gotta stake the leg. What is this? Our truth be dancing his ass off, bro. And, uh, I believe the judges are gonna score. Drop it. <laughs> bro, dog, yep. Number two, Spinner Rudy. Mm -hmm. While Booker T's talents were there for all to see in WCW, it wasn't until coming to the WWE that he unlocked his true entertainment <laughs> style. Spinner Rudy was key in helping Booker yep. find his feet as a sports entertainer and ultimately get over big with the audience. With the WCW title, he hit the X kick. The Spinner Rudy. The Spinner Rooney was like a cool party trick mm -hmm. that the fans always wanted to see. Because it looked cool. The Spinner Rooney back to the vertical base. And other people just couldn't help yeah. but get in on the fun. It looked cool. <laughs> Yo, how many times I did that as a kid? Hitting the Spinner Rooney, it shit looked cool as hell. <laughs> oh my God. Fuck with that, bitch. <laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> I really, I really need the, the toe touch. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> yup. Kane, Kane hit it too. <laughs> no matter how many bad, or in rare cases, good attempts there were at the Spinner Rooney, no mm. one could pull it off like yep. a five time WCW yep. champion. Hit it every time. Yep. 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 Number one, Too Cool and Rikishi. Of course. Despite being three talented wrestlers on their own, Too Cool and Rikishi didn't find themselves as characters until they teamed together mm -hmm. as a dancing trio. After their matches, they would treat the WWF fans to a version this of the was actually, slide it, dance routine. It worked. It worked for that time period, bro. It, it was so cool. No pun intended. <laughs> This helped the group become some of the most over stars of the year yeah. 2000. It was a party everyone wanted to be a part of. And yeah. it was common to see others dance with Sexay, Scotty, and Big Key. Yep. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Oh, man. This is bringing me back. Yo, Eddie. <laughs> Oh man, this take me back, bro. <laughs> yeah, Terry. <laughs> it was a chance to see a lot of Oh man, of rest in peace, Terry. It was all man. Good vibes and something fans couldn't wait to see each week. That's baby got back. Lots of back. Ain't the worm, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure oh, to man. check out a similar You know video. what? I'm okay with that being the number one like dance that a wrestler does. It, it was iconic. Music fit. It, it, it was it was dope, man. Comment down below. Let me know your favorite, I guess, wrestler that be dancing in the ring if they weren't listening to this video. I appreciate all the love support y'all showing on the channel. Road to 150K. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See you on the next one. Peace.